welcome to the HMAS Penguin. Well, not quite, it's aerobics Oz style. Welcome to our show. We're going to be doing a high energy workout and we're down at the shore base HMAS Penguin in Sydney Harbour. Right now, please join us for some low impact aerobics. We'll do that to warm ourselves up and then build our way into some high energy work. Starting with your feet together and squat. Down and up, knees over toes. When you're doing a squat, make sure you keep your heels down on the ground, keep your abdominals nice and tight, and try not to look down, because as soon as you look down, your shoulders will round. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together, keep your chest up really, really high. Eight more times, push down, eight, seven, six, keep pressing, down four more, four, three, right leg leading, heel press, heel, and out. Keep down low in the leg, push and pull with the arms. The chest is high, the abdominals are contracted, and you're working your arms really, really strongly. Squeeze the shoulder blades, four, Three, toe tap goes behind now, reach out and back. That's it, the hands are high, chest is up, the arms are working just a little bit harder than they were before, working out from those shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five. Get ready to change it again, back to your heel press, straight ahead, four times. Four, three, two, toe tap behind. Four, three, two, and heel press again. Four, three, toe tap back, that's four, Three, go to a side tap, please take it out now. Side to side, right and left, the body is tall, the shoulders are down. Opening now, like I said, this is all low impact aerobics. All based on marching movements, no jumping, just warming up the whole body. Back to the heel press again, straight ahead. Four, three, toe tap, take it behind, reach out. Four, three, side toe tap now, open now. Eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna change the side toe tap into a double toe tap. Right leg, two times. Left leg, keep bending the supporting knee, squatting down through the leg. Push it out a little bit further as you get warmer, add a little bit more of a bounce to it. Two more, one more, four taps on the right leg. Four, three, two, take the left leg now. Four, three, same thing again, four taps. Out four, three. Now have you guys heard of a tap bind before? I know these guys have. Three taps, right leg, three, two, tap bind, here we go. I couldn't do it. I put myself off now. Here we go. Three. That's better. Take the foot behind. Push out. Two. Three. And again. I better do a few more just to get the practice of this one. My right leg had no idea what to do. One more time. That's it. Push out. Last time on the left leg. And out. Back to the beginning. Heel press. Four times. Straight ahead. Hands out. Take the toe tap behind you. Reach it out strong. Four. Three. Heel press again, straight ahead. Low arms, then take it back, push out. Four, three, give me a side toe tap. How are your shoulders feeling? If your shoulders are getting tired, you're not used to sort of all this work, just keep your arms relaxed, you don't have to do it. Give me a double tap. You can keep your hands relaxed, you don't have to push out with the arms. It's really up to you how hard you want to work. Three taps, three, two, one, take that across. Three, two, one, try that again, push out. Three, two, one more time, three taps, one. We're back to the beginning, heel press now, straight ahead. Heel, heel, toe tap behind, stretch it high. Four, three, single side taps. Eight, seven, six, five, that's four. Okay guys, give me a tap bind, three taps now. Three, two, one, let your hands go behind. Three, two, one, take it behind, do it again. Three, two, one more time with the tap bind, and I want you to give me a march. Forward and back, let's go now, forward and back. Little tiny tap, side by side. One, two, three, and tap. Same again, forward, up, and back. One last time. From the beginning, heel press, straight ahead. Push out, push, push. Toe tap goes behind, strong arms, push out. That's it, side taps, concentrating, head up. Adding on the double tap now. Two taps, triple tap, fine. Here we go, three, two, one, across again, let's go. Three, two, please march, forward and back. That's our warm up routine. Keep that going, we'll do it one more time from the beginning. Heel press, straight ahead, go now. Four, three, everyone, tap it back, stretch it out strong. Two, side toes, open out, two. Now the double tap, strong arm lines, push it out. Get ready for the tap bind, triple taps. Three, two, one, take it back the other way, three, Two, marching forward and back. March it up, two, three. And back, two, three, again. Fantastic, adding on right here, easy walks. Relax your arms, relax your shoulders, stay on the right leg. Keep bending down through your knees. Take the other side now. 
I have no idea why this step is called an easy walk. Because I've watched people in my classes before, back to the right leg. It's not as easy as it may look, is it? There's that little bit of coordination of going forward and back and your feet going out and in and changing legs. Three things happening together. Come on, you can do it. Right side, four times. Four, down, three. Keep bending down through your knees. One more. Other side now, step it out. Down, two more. One more time, march on the spot. Take a deep breath in, stretching up through those lungs. Exhale down, you've done the warm up. We have more high energy coming up, keep moving. I'd like you to focus right down at your feet now, okay? You come all the way down to your feet. It's really important what you're wearing on your feet when you do a whole workout. You're going to end up doing yourself more harm than good. So if you want to keep everything low impact, if you haven't got the right shoes on, that's fine by me. If you want to just sit in a chair and wave your arms around with us, that's fine by me. But if you're going to do the high energy, you really need to have good footwear and a safe surface to be working on to make sure everything's comfortable. One leg forward, one leg back. Lean over and stretch out your calves right now. The abdominals are contracting, you're pressing through. I don't think we would need to be working on sand, that's not a good idea. If you're sort of standing, or thongs, or platforms. I think platforms in sand could be probably the least stable surface you work on. Or the other side, what about a trampoline? That could be really good. Bend in the front knee, back leg straight. Okay, so a nice stable surface. We're basically looking for something that's not too wobbly and good supportive footwear. Something that gives you lateral sideways support as well as pressure underneath the feet, a little bit of sponging under the feet. Back leg comes in, stretch out your Achilles tendon in your lower calf, pelvic tilt. I'm only doing a little bit of stretching now, just to sort of lengthen out through the calf muscles mostly. At the end of the whole workout, we'll do some more stretching. Change over, take that other leg. Sink down into the legs. Make sure you keep your posture. Lift up through the chest and start marching right leg, right left, right left. All right, so we've done some low impact exercise. Let's add to that one. Easy walk right leg now, but bring the arms into the focus. That's it. So it's strong arm lines here. Keep that going, two more. One more, tap change other side now. Keep the head up, keep the chest up, muscle arms. You've got it. Right leg, four times now. Four, three, two, Change it over, left side now, muscle up. And two. I want to just take you straight into an easy knee, right leg, left leg now. Out, in, the arms are going straight up. It's not sort of straight up next to ears, it's diagonally forward, reaching out. Yeah, think Superman to infinity and beyond. Oh no, that's the other guy. <laughs> I've been watching that movie lately, it's good fun. Woo! Four more, and four. Three, do you remember the first move we did? Easy walk, right leg, four, one, two, three. Please tap change, take the other side. Four, three, arms up high, work through that chest. Easy knees now, step it out, reach four. Keep that going. By the magic of music, we are now leading with our left foot first. That's left, and two. So do everything from the beginning, left leg, easy walk, four times, four. That was an easy way to achieve balance. That's it. Give me a tap change now, other side, four, three, two. Left leg, easy knee, reach out and knee. So we've done two moves only so far, but in those two moves they've been very, very strong. Working the legs and working the arms to maximum. Woo, two more. One more, I want to change it, single step touch, arm up. Reach and pull. Lateral work now. We've been doing a lot of work that goes forward and back. We're now working side to side. Stretch, pull, stretch, pull. Four more. Four, three. Give me a two step. No hands. I bet you're happy about that one. How are your shoulders feeling? Don't forget to loosen them up every now and again. Two steps. Keep the tummy tight, keep the chest up high. Okay, the only thing is, we are gonna add a little bit more complicated arm line, but they're gonna bend. In, out, in, down, in, out, in, down. Turn your feet into a grapevine. Step it out, heel down first. Easy arms. Okay, make the arms a little bit trickier. Diamonds, out, up. So you've got the long levers and the short levers. These are the long ones. Stretching right out through the whole body. 
Look where you're going, push across. Short lever, grapevine. Four, three, two. Now the long levers, reach it out. Four, up, three, up, two. Beginning heel press. Remember the warm up? Remember that warm up? Stay here. Four, three, toe tap behind you, push back. Four, three, side, toe, open out. Eight, seven, six, now double tap. We have a triple tap vine, take it now for three, one, two, three, and again. I nearly couldn't do it again. I don't know what it is about this triple tap, but my legs don't want to do what my face is saying to do. And again, three, two, easy walk. Now, keep running through your easy walk routine. When we come back, the high energy gets even faster. See you soon. Woo! Now I know that we're going to get some very special so shots of Michelle today because she's been having a bit of a debate with one of the cameramen here, Andy. She reckons that she could easily do his job. Like yeah, all he has to do is hold the camera the in camera. one direction and basically then he sticks his head around and has a look at the scenery. How That's hard could it be? Not that hard, is it? No, what we do is hard. What they do? Yeah, it's nothing much at all. So I'm sure we're going to get some really attractive shots right now. Thanks for that, Michelle. <laughs> okay, march it out. Chest up nice and high. All right, the music's a little bit faster. Bring it up into a jog. All right, like I said, it's high energy. The music is faster and we're doing high impact now. If you don't want to do high impact, you don't have to. But right now, I need all the energy we can. Hands high, right up. Woo! Keep your arms really pumping. You're Let's making me look short. Like, and I bet, that and I bet, making me I bet it's short. not too hard to do. Well, that's all. You, well, just my stretch thought. your arms up. Take, see, she's not short, she's long. Do long ones, long ones. Press it right out. Four, three, two, heel presses. Heel! That's it. Like I said, it's just high energy work here. Not too much complicated stuff, just jumping. Good old fashioned aerobics, the stuff that burns calories. Put some muscle on the bones and some calcium on the bones to make them nice and strong. Four, three, two, start running. Left, right. Okay, I finally got it happening here. Yeah. Want a flick kick on the left foot. Left leg out. Okay, the abdominals are in, the chest is high, and you've just got to keep bouncing. That's all you have to do. You shouldn't be huffing and puffing too much, just breathing a little bit harder than normal. If you're talking like me, you would definitely have an excuse for huffing and puffing, but otherwise, just keep moving. I can even talk like this underwater, trust me. Woo! Four to go, and four, and three. Side kicks now, open out. Straight out the side. Remember to point your toes, land carefully on the foot, bend the supporting knee. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, double flick kick, take it across. One, two, one, two, one. Now how else could we travel this one? What about a little bit of a jig? That's better. That travels us just that little bit further. Join in if you wish. Just changing your feet in between. Push, change, push, change. Four times, three times, I'll see you later. Smile guys, I think the camera's on you. Woo! Two more, one more, back to the middle, single kicks, push out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, jumping jacks, four times down low. Four, three, knees up, right leg, left leg. Four, three, jack, heels down, knees up. Four, three, jack again. Squat down, two, three, knees up. Stretching up really, really high. And jack, four, three, two, knees up. Four, three, march on the spot. Okay, this is musical mats. We are all gonna move backwards, except for June Jones, who's gonna come down the front. Moving back, come on down, June. It's your turn to lead the class. What are we gonna do? Thinking about it, we have knees up. Beautiful knees up. Tummy's in nice and tight, basic aerobic moves here. <sighs> Looks like you've done this before, June. Looking very comfortable there. You don't have to say anything. Eight, seven, six, five. Bring it back down to low impact, move backwards. And we now have Michelle Nicholas coming on down. She's sort of a good move. When you're ready, Michelle. Ah, oh, double knees. 
reaching up. Now these are definitely long movements. You've got long arms, long legs. Reach for the roof because the roof is on fire. Woo! Come on, push it out strong. We're going to keep this pumping. Four more. Four up. Three up. That's two. Move it back or forward depending on what your name is. I'm going to Michelle Dean. Cameraman aerobics. Go Michelle. Yeah, this is cameraman aerobics, definitely. High energy. Okay, let's do aerobics on style. Yeah. Strong arm lines, tummy's in tight, pump it out. Push it, pull. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, change over, go, go, go. Okay, you like it there, come on, get on your mat. Run it out. Left, right, left, right. Push it nice and strong. Four more, four, three, Give me the twist. Twist out through the hips, working the waist. Push the arms out really, really strong. Remember to take some deep breaths. Arms working hard. Four more. That's four. Three. Double pump. Yeah. Yeah. That's four. Three. Guess what? We survived the high energy. We're going to be back after this short break. See you soon. amazing how huffed and puffed we even get. Now, we do this sort of thing for a living, we do it all the time, but it's amazing how the different things, like sometimes you do dancing type aerobics, and you'll get sweaty because you're getting stressed out, then you'll do something like this, which is not stressing you out, but it's actually quite physically challenging. Get your heart rate up and makes you huff and puff and sweat. You really need variety in your workout, so make sure that you do a little bit of everything, sometimes some basic cardio training, and occasionally things that challenge your brain. That way you're going to get a total body workout. Right now, just give me those step touches side to side. Bringing your heart rate down. Four more of these the same. Push it out and four and three and two. Last one, take your feet out wide. Roll your body down. Just going for a nice easy body roll. Drop the head and roll up. Take that again. Chest out, bottom back. Drop it down, roll up. Two more. Slowly down. Tummy in, roll up. One more time, take it down and drop the head, roll it up. Fantastic, take one hand up, stretching over to the side, reaching out through your fingertips, feel the stretch running along the side of your body, out through your hand. Release that one, now you're going to take a deep breath in, exhale and please reach over to the other side. You can even turn your head, look over your shoulder, continue that stretch, slowly release. Now take one arm across your body, stretching out through the shoulder area. Release other side. I know we were doing high energy aerobics, but you think about how much you were waving your arms around, how much shoulder work we actually did. So you want to stretch those shoulders out. Hands back, chest and shoulders. You're now getting the front of your shoulders and through the chest area. Releasing your back. June was saying that her back's feeling a little bit tight because we work on unusual surfaces. Sometimes we're working on sand, sometimes we're working on grass, and today we're working on some wood, but I don't necessarily think that it's a sprung floor necessarily. So you get a little bit tight through the back muscles. Release them off now. How about stretching your hamstrings? One foot forward, one foot back. Chest over, bottom back. You should be feeling a nice gentle stretch down the back of your leg to the back of the knee. And just change it over to the other side. One forward, one back. Bend from the hips, but keep your back straight. Don't exaggerate the flat back by pushing and arching your back the other way either. Maintain abdominal contraction and just bend from your hips. Perfectly neutral spine. Okay, slowly release out of that one, dropping the head roll up. Head last. We need a little bit of balancing here, standing on your left leg. Arm out to the side, pulling the knee back slightly, and just focusing on something that's not moving around. So look at the knobs on the TV rather than me, because I might start wobbling any second. All right, change around the other side. Get your balance, keep your head up, reach for the foot, pulling the knee back just slightly. The front of the thigh getting a gentle stretch and relax that one. How about loosening off our backs now? If we actually lie down on the ground, lie down, make yourself comfortable. Knees bent, roll it back. We're just gonna do a little bit of a lumbar roll. Keep your toes on the floor and just roll your knees from one side over to the other side, slowly in your own time. You feeling little crunches in your back? Little crunches, little sort of adjustments, the spine kind of putting itself back into place. Just nice for your back, this one. 
Okay, and the next one that's really good to do is take your feet off the ground, hug your knees into your chest. Again, stretching out through your lower back and just releasing. One more. Hamstring stretch again, but a little bit more intense. Pulling that all the way back. Relax the head down, relax the shoulders down. Change that over, try the other side. Leg up. And we've got the other leg happening, pulling slowly in. And three, and two, and one. Roll over, onto one side. Take this leg over, just loosen off through the hip area. Give that a little bit of a massage. Okay, and then stretching through your body, lift the body up here, and you'll feel a stretch actually in the opposite hip, through the side of the body. Just lifting, and relax down. Swing that all around the other side. So first of all, just lying down. You're gonna feel the stretch in the hip that's lying on the ground. So it's this one first. Just loosen that off. Okay, now both knees are bent. Hands down, push your body up. Feel that stretch, the side of the body through the hip. And just enjoy that sensation. Don't forget, stretching is just as important as everything else that we do. We'd love to see you for the very next workout. Bye for now.